Welcome back everyone to another Stronghold Crusader 2v2. We have the last game of our first round right here, right now. We got Snake versus Frederick. Oh, sorry. Snake and Frederick versus what's here and Philip. Um, per request in the comments, I've switched positioning up a little bit so the two stronger um, people on each team are not across from each other. So let's go ahead and see exactly how that goes. Lions are attacking my liege. And we do know that, you know, with, with this switch positioning, um, it's it's important to note that you know, we, have, we have to watch the early game here, especially from Snake. We know that his, his early game is nothing to be um, scared of. Same same with uh, Philip and Frederick here. Um, it could be quite interesting. We already see a pretty strong push here from Snake trying to get in. Was your needs to get up quickly? very quickly and same same here with Frederick it definitely puts a lot of early pressure on them as, as you can already see here these two ballistas are doing quite a bit of work and here we go he has called them off interesting castle from Philip looks a little ill positioned I'm not gonna lie maybe this wall was just rotated one more um, his castles are never really his strong suit we'll see good late game raids from him um, strong harass here in the beginning of this game. We have to recognize that Frederick still is pushing in resources from the back. Which is crucial to him getting up. Philip's swordsmen are already in. Um, we see the Wazir struggling here. Struggling quite a bit. Is trying to hold off. That's a good amount of assassins. You know, we, we definitely got to watch out for them. His, build, his buildings are on fire. He does not look to be doing good against Snake at all. Versus Frederick, who's just a little bit more put together here. Um, he's got his walls enclosed, looking like he's doing a better job defending. Snake is just pushing so much siege against the Wazir, and it's really put him on the back leg. Um, Wazir needing to get some kind of eco going here. Philip starting to hit full stride, and this is what makes him so dangerous. This is what's going to win them the game here. Shutting down economies with these raids. Look at that. That's so much wood, and they're still gone. You know, there's, there's probably, you know, the, the recovery time for Philip is going to be crazy long. Um, you know, definitely a very different game than we're used to seeing with how fast some of these lords that take a little bit longer to get up are just suffering. And look at that, he has just cleared out his entire backside. He has nothing. Like, I don't, I don't even know what he can do. He's not bringing in any resources. And he keeps trying to put down more. He needed archers. He just doesn't have them. His whole front wall is gone. He's... He's on the back legs. He might be hanging on here for dear life. Um, reverse. Wazir finally sending out his first attack against Snake. Able to defend it quite nicely. He does get a a nice uh, tower down Snake. A big one. A lot better for his defense, I think, personally. Um, he might need to go help his ally here. <laughs> he does look like he's getting hit hard. Not able to collect a single resource with those knights from Philip. That is just crucial to just shutting him down Philip being able to kind of carry this game here was he really just needs to play defense and hope that he doesn't get gunned down with um, different types of siege but he has kind of hit his full swing here able to throw out some attacks um, snakes assassins are dangerous and that's really about it and here we go we're seeing this fall of Emperor Frederick you know when you can't bring in resources what really can you do? Um, and then he sends in swordsmen, and here we go. We got more knights over in the resources. He just placed everything down, and it's going to be bye bye. That is just ridiculously strong. Um, if you asked me before this game who I thought was going to win, I wouldn't have been able to tell you. I do know that Frederick probably would have had to take a 2v1 at some point, and this is what's dangerous. He has lost that front power, Snake has, and he's got no answer for this siege. He has replaced it, but he's hurting. Knights into the eco again. Only attacking Emperor Frederick's things, though. Interesting. Um, needs more archers. Just doesn't have enough archers. They're not able to clear that out fast enough. Getting pelted by Siege as well. As being pushed. Yeah, Frederick just getting absolutely hit. 54 men. King Philip and Wazir absolutely pushing here. Snake doing what he can, but... It's not going to be enough. And here he goes. Frederick. 
He's about to go into last stand mode, I imagine. There he goes, crushes some of his stuff, and he has fallen. I did not even see the knights go up, but they did. Absolutely trampled. I think Philip's raids are going to be crucial if he ever goes up against Saladin. And I miss that too. Well, I miss both <laughs> both kills pretty bad there. Um, it was pretty much a stomping. That was like a five minute game, less than. And we will go ahead and jump over to the bracket now for talking about the review. Um, pre yeah, pretty hard stomping. Not really much Emperor Frederick can do there. Wolf is, or sorry, Philip's just known for the raids. Like that's that's what he does. That's his specialty. That's so that's the only thing that makes him somewhat of a viable character in this game. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and jump over to the bracket. All right, here we are in the bracket, fully updated. Round one is done. Few surprises. I thought I thought this game would be a little bit closer. Um, Philip just so strong with that, and um, we'll we'll see him go against Saladon and Rat next, which is going to be such an interesting game with how much Philip raids. If he can get an early shutdown on Saladon before he gets in full swing, it could be extremely dangerous, and we might finally see the fall of Saladon. Frederick and Snape will go against the, the Abbot and the Nazir. It'll be quite a bit different story, I think. Neither of those guys really raid. The Abbot does like six month monks he sends over, and it's just it's average at best. So that's what they got coming up for next round. Um, overall, an all right game, kind of a kind of a disappointment in the round one. I mean, I knew there was going to be some, you know, just absolute hard shuts down in Frederick's one where he can't handle early pressure like that. I think even if he would have been across from Wazir, Wazir still gets up faster than him. You know, he's he kind of takes a little bit to get set up there. I do think next round will go a lot better for them. But yeah, just uh, give me your feedback on, you know, the positioning. I definitely think that does make a difference. Both those lords got rushed, but they should be able to handle that early game. You know, was it, was he or handled it? He handled it quite well. He Like, he didn't die. Yes, it hurt him a little bit. But, I mean, he didn't die, which is good. So thank you all for watching. I'm sorry this is a short one. Um, I'll make sure to post again in the next few days here. Thank you all for the support. It's been It's been awesome. And I will uh, see you next time. Bye.